the European Parliament stopped short of calling for an unconditional ceasefire in the Gaza Strip, saying this should happen only if hostages held in the besieged Palestinian enclave were released and Hamas dismantled. A favore. Contrari. Three groups of EU lawmakers, the Socialists, Centrists and Greens, had sought a resolution calling for a permanent ceasefire and the restart of efforts towards a political solution. The resolution text also called for the immediate and unconditional release of all hostages and the dismantling of Hamas. However, the centre-right European People's Party narrowly pushed through an amendment during voting to adjust the text. Colleagues, in the spirit of defending freedom, I need to refer. As nobody can turn a blind eye to the losses of human life in Gaza and the humanitarian challenge faced by the Palestinian people. True. As we cannot forget either the pain of the Israeli families waiting in despair for the return of this and the demilitarization. The resolution as a whole was cleared by a wide majority. European Parliament resolutions have no binding power, but are designed to signal the view of Europeans and have sometimes triggered stern foreign reactions. Now the update from another conflict in the Middle East. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said that no one authorized the strikes by the United States on Yemen. Lavrov made comments at a news conference in Moscow addressing Russia's existential struggle with the West over Ukraine and the future world order. The U.S. military said its forces conducted strikes on 14 Houthi missiles that were loaded to be fired from Yemen in the fourth day of U.S. strikes in less than a week. U.S. Central Command said the Houthi missiles presented an imminent threat to merchant vessels and U.S. Navy ships in the region. Attacks by the Houthis on ships in the region since November have slowed trade between Asia and Europe and alarmed major powers. The U.S. strikes were meant to degrade the Houthis' ability to carry out attacks in the Red Sea. The Indian Navy said it has rescued the crew of a U.S.-owned vessel in the Gulf of Aden following a Houthi attack, disrupting global trade in the region.